Hi there! Welcome to the LACC TV How To Series. I'm your instructor, Jen Vaughn, and today we're going over the audio board. Here in Studio B, we have the Soundcraft SI Expression 3 audio board. Now, this is a digital audio board, which basically means it has a built in computer. So when you power up, make sure that you power up and don't hold that button for too long or else it's going to try to update the software, which isn't necessarily what we want every time we power up. Secondly, it does have a security feature, so you're going to want to make sure to log in using the correct user and password. So get in touch with your instructor about that password for use in class. Now, as we're getting started on the audio board here, it seems like there's a lot of buttons and a lot of faders, but don't worry, it's actually not that intimidating. We're going to focus on five main steps to get this started. Now, first step is, whenever you're setting up an audio board, you're going to need to get the signal in. So the first thing I'm going to do over here is I want to adjust the gain, the input, of the channel I'm using. So I have I, my POTS set up into the gain mode. POTS are short for potentiometer. A lot of people call them knobs, but in the industry, the standard short term is POTS. So as I'm adjusting the gain for this channel, I'm going to be bringing up the pot so that I have a nice full level, making sure that I'm not going to overload the signal when the peak light comes on. So beware of those red peak lights underneath your input. If you see a peak light, you just want to drop that back a little bit until you get a nice full signal around negative 12 decibels, not reaching all the way up to zero where it would peak or overload. So now that I've adjusted my input for the first step, the next step is adjusting the output by bringing up your fader. So as I bring up my fader, I'm going to set this at unity, or zero. The third step, I actually need to turn that channel on. Even though the fader's up, if I don't turn it on, I won't be able to hear the signal. Step four, I need to bring up my master left and right, which is sending all of my mix to the program record. And lastly, step five, you're not going to hear anything until you turn on the master left right. You can adjust the volume in the room up here on the monitor level. And I'm going to turn that down so I can explain a little bit about how we monitor audio. On the audio board here, we have a digital VU meter, a volume unit meter, which truly really measures loudness or volume. And as I'm calibrating the tone, I'm going to adjust my faders so that the one kilohertz tone is registering at negative 12 decibels on the digital audio board. Well, now that you have calibrated your tone, the next thing you would want to do is set your mic levels. You'd have your talent speaker performance level, adjusting the channels accordingly, and then you're all ready to mix the show. Don't forget when you're done with production to normal the board before you're done by bringing down all the channels that you used and turning off all the channels that were in use. Last thing that you gotta do is power down the board. You'd hold that power button for about three seconds. Once it starts blinking, that means it's ready to shut down, so you tap to confirm, and your board's powered down. Now there are a lot more features to go over, so stay tuned for part two in our audio series where we learn a little more about equalization.